Hello everyone, my name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I'm going to show you a feature of Microsoft Teams that very few people seem to know about, but that I think is one of the greatest features of Microsoft Teams, and that is the Who function. I can go in and I can use a special command in Microsoft Teams to search across my organization, not just for finding people, but getting information about their expertise, getting information about who they work with, who they report to, and who reports to them. Complete organizational exposure to all of the information on individuals so that I can invite them into my team or I can contact them when I need help on a project. It's extraordinarily powerful and it's really easy to use. Let's go have a look. If you work in a larger organization, you might receive a chat or a notification from someone and you're not exactly sure who they are. Well, a really helpful way that we can find out who people are is to go into our command line. And to do that in Teams, if you go control slash, it'll bring up a list of different commands that you can input into Teams. There are a whole bunch of different commands that we can put in. For example, we can look at someone's activity. We can set our status to available. There's all sorts of different commands. A handy one I like is slash BRB for be right back. But down here at the bottom is a really neat command called the who command. And if I put in who, W-H-O, it'll bring up a little application that allows me to ask a question such as, here I can say, who is Bruce? So in my organization, somebody Bruce has contacted me, so I can say who is Bruce. Now the first time you do this, it'll ask you to add this little who application and it's a little tool that allows me to find information about people within my organization. So now we have who, and we can do things like who is and who knows about. So if we have somebody who's put in information about their expertise, who do they work with, who do they report to? So a lot of this becomes really valuable if your organization makes sure that uh, people have this information in their profile. But for example here, I'm gonna go and type in the question and I'll say, who is Bruce? And when I go into who is Bruce, it's going to put the question in here and it says, you need the permission. So I'll say, allow that. And it's going to do a search. It's gonna search my organization for Bruce. Now you can see it's found Bruce. It's got his contact card. Um, I can see who his manager is, who he works with, different peers within the organization. Now this is a great feature, especially if your organization is on top of things and puts this information in for each of their employees. This is especially useful for larger organizations where by putting this information in, you can quickly find people that can help you with specific topics or specific projects that you might be working on. So this is an area to explore, maybe show it to some other people in your organization. And as more and more people start using it in your organization, it gains more and more value. At the very least, you can go in and get the contact card for in this case, Bruce Wayne. So by putting in who is Bruce, I found Bruce Wayne. But there's really so much more I can do with the who command as well. If I put in something like, who knows about the weather? So who knows about weather? It'll actually search my team site and it'll identify that this fellow named Frank has been talking about the weather in some of the channels. So it assumes that I know a little bit about the weather. Now, the more densely populated your team environment is and the larger your organization, the more it's going to be able to collect information. There's some really neat things I can do. I can say uh, who was in the meeting and I can specify what the meeting was about, but I'll just say who was in the meeting and it's going to give me a list of people that I've recently met with. So you can see that I've recently met with Bruce Wayne and Deanna. If I go into slash who, you'll notice that one of the options I have here, um, let's just go in here and we'll say, what can I do? So I'll click on what I can do. I can say, you know, who is, who knows about, who works with, and then down here are some really interesting ones. Who have I emailed about a specific subject? Uh, who was in the meeting about a specific subject? Who have I messaged? So you can see that you can start gathering all sorts of interesting information by searching all of the resources that you have in your environment. So this is a very powerful command. So there is a feature that I think, especially when people start populating their contact cards, becomes more and more valuable the more people in your organization use it and the more they populate it with useful information. Check it out and see if it works for your organization and show it to other colleagues because this is one of those features that the more people that use it, the better it becomes. 
Thank you so much for watching. Here are some more videos on the channel.